Hello and welcome to Oracle Insight. Now the readings I'm doing are for the water elementals, specifically in this one, Cancer. So Cancer, Sun, Moon and Rising. Now it is for the time frame, the week ahead starting the 29th of November through to the 5th of December. So I'm just going to go ahead and table some of these cards and then we can get on with the reading. Actually that was supposed to be here. Sorry, I've gone in the wrong order. So there, 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 and there. Okay. Okay, so Cancer, um, this position here speaks to uh, energies about right now. And with the earth element and stability, you seem to be in a really um, nice, stable place. It's uh, one of security. Yeah, security and stability. Now with the travel card in reverse, there that could um, potentially point to some travel plans not quite working out uh, or if you are looking to um, a change of address this could also potentially point to um, that being delayed or there might be some component of either one of those um, moves whether it's travel or change of address that requires yeah, more stability. Something might not be quite right in a component of something that's involved, involved here with that potential um, movement. And with Neptune here with, um, in the don't do position, along with conflict, so conflict in, res in reverse. All right, so um, I'm getting a sense here. So this is, Neptune can be um, very fluid and without boundaries and um, far too open and potentially getting lost within um, or self-sacrificing. And so this is really pointing to you holding your ground in something. Now, if it is to do with, um, if it is to do with a potential moving and you are dealing with somebody, um, realtors or someone or organization that um, you've got some kind of negotiation going on, this card in reverse is really speaking to not having that conflict, having that ease. And so if that is the case, this is definitely a time to um, stand up, voice whatever it is, your opinion, um, your requirements regarding the situation or this potential investment that you might have going here. It's going to work in your favor should you do that. So don't sacrifice because um, this is where there could be potential conflict and that, that could even just be internal conflict because you've walked away from something that um, you probably needed to, to not walk away from. And with the joyous fun there in Uranus and Genius, well, I love that. This is, um, this really to me is about you breaking out of any boundaries that you've, um, you may have established for yourself, you may have set up for yourself or whether somebody has imposed certain restrictions on you. This is really about breaking out of those restrictions and you're looking here with this joyous fun in uh, this card here, see, see at this activity of um, really relishing and in the freedom of uh, life, you've got the 
the fun part there too. This is really about you claiming your individual genius on some level or in some way that allows you to have that sense of um, abundance, of joy. There may be a requirement here because this is what you are encouraged to do. This is about you stepping into your, your authenticity, your, um, that truth that you have to share with others and in doing so you have that, that joyous energy about you. And of course, when you have that, you've got that to share too. Oh, this is nice. A lot of the readings have been so heavy. So this is lovely that you've got some um, cancer that it's showing up as something uh, more enjoyable. Now with the Capricorn I use in the vast universe, wow, that is literally, this is, for me, that's basically saying that um, you have the ability to create and build something that is going to establish some prominence, some security for yourself. And because you will be accessing, you will be using um, lots of, like you've got energies that you can, that can support you in this creation of whatever it is that's happening here. And it's also about um, you being in alignment with the energies of the universe that actually put things, opportunities, people, circumstances, events into your pathway. So then you can um, use, use that to your benefit. And with the, the um, Uranus here, with the um, genius, see, this is you really harnessing whatever, um, you know, aspects of that, the imagination or whatever it is that you can actually create so much more with. Oh, I love that. That's, that's about you really setting yourself up. And look, I mean, you've got a lot of stability there anyway. So this is really just um, allowing you to launch even further even further into this vast universe of potential. There's so much potential here for you to use. Wow, I love that Capricorn. Capricorn, it was drawn to that. No, it's Cancer. Love that for you, Cancer. Let's have a look to see what the tower is going to tell us. See what kind of... What kind of information this can give us? Oh, I love the green, the green. Ah, yes, with the, um, with that Queen of Swords here and the Five of Swords, this, if you've got some kind of negotiation going on, like I said here, um, that's really pointing to you being clear with the queen of swords here uh have a clear intention have a clear message that you are um, communicating be clear in how you participate in uh, whatever dealings is happening here it is it's also about claiming your truth and your power with your genius card here with the uranus and and applying that in, in a way that is going to set you forth in this path towards this new this new venture because this is really speaking to an opportunity the beginnings of an opportunity um, that you may actually have been considering anyway this is about being in um, alignment with this opportunity and also having the nous to actually use this for your benefit but definitely with the five of swords here, don't be that person at the back and um, not allowing that defeatist kind of um, situation to come upon you. No, this is about you standing your ground on something, whether it's you claiming your genius and saying, no, look, this is, I'm really not, that's not where I am anymore and I'd like to do this. Or if it's um, to do with, like I said, any legalities that you're dealing with, that's about you 
making sure that your uh, values, your your requests are being acknowledged and seen and followed through on. But that's really, really wonderful. It looks like um, something's been set up in your favour to create. Oh yeah, look, great achievement here. I just wanted to see. So yeah, there's something happening here that um, you're moving towards achieving something really magical. I think even with the, um, for some of you, with that earth element and stability there, now that these cards are, are showing as they are, this could really be um, saying to you that um, you have the, you have the basic groundwork or the support beneath you around you to really pr propel you into another direction. It's whether that's a family support that you've got about you, um, partner, there's some kind of stability here that's allowing you to um, break out of any constraints that you may have had on yourself and it could um, have been self-imposed at that so it's yeah that's really fabulous and with initiation yeah look at that this is really once again this is um, that genius card coming through that's really about you embracing embracing um, the differences the uniqueness that is you and moving forward with it to create create something that's going to be so um, rewarding for you. That's really brilliant. All right then, so Cancer, that is the reading that I have for you. I certainly hope that as you move through these times, um, this information benefits you in some way. So until I can connect with you again in another reading, take care. Hello and welcome to Oracle Insight. So these readings are for the water elementals and this one in particular is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon or Rising. Now I'm going to lay these cards on the table and then we'll get into the reading. Now um, the reading itself is for the upcoming week. Oh my gosh. That was where the last card landed and the same one. Okay, interesting. Uh, yes, where was I? The reading is for the seven days starting um, November the 29th through to December the 5th. Now, hopefully, I'm just looking to see if these cards actually, you know what, that's not going to be seen. Just a minute, I'm going to have to adjust... Um, the curtains for this or the blinds. Okay, I'm back and um, had to change the camera around a bit and adjust the lighting. So, okay, so where was I? Um, okay, so I'm going to select some more Oracle cards. That travel card has turned up consistently and oh my goodness this one as well and no that was only, that's only turned up once this has turned up a few times oh goodness me how interesting these energies are really melding in with each other okay um so now the earth element and stability so this is talking to solid ground security now given that it's um being clarified by intention and playing it safe this might be where things are too stable things are too staged there's no movement happening and this is talking to energies that are about you at the moment so this is potentially saying that some changes need to um, happen in terms of stepping outside of your comfort zone because with the playing it's safe 
card here, there is like this call to do more and for you to go beyond the boundaries of that fence line in order to get these you know these gifts these celebrations that that's happening in the back there so okay so that's yeah those two together and with this card of water element sensing and commitment okay so this is talking to uh, this is a position of what not to do. And so with the water element there and sensing, interesting because that is really talking to you, you're having a sensible approach. But obviously with the stability card there, that is exactly what you have been doing. But this is asking you to not be easily, especially with this commitment card in in reverse there this is um, where if it is to do with a commitment or a connection of some sort whether it's personal or professional this is about not allowing your emotions to um, play into this situation too much so that seems quite the contradiction with these cards but let's see what else comes up and see how we can um, make sense of that because in actual fact, when I'm looking at this, if there is a if there is a um, a contract or a commitment that you are considering entering into, this is about you being clear, certain. Um, make sure that the the factors surrounding that commitment um, is transparent. That it is. Stable, secure, all right, because that's um, that's what you want to continue most definitely. This is just talking to maybe um, the ability to see past your current perceptions on something. That could be that as well. So, but yeah, so this this is talking to you, making sure that um, everything is in place, and if you are entering into any commitments. Or contracts that you ensure that everything is above board and uh, all components are in place where they should be okay so make sure that that's that's um, clear and transparent for you now with the Pluto transformation and the travel okay so that's what you should do so this there is definitely a need to shake things up a bit with the Pluto and transformation card coming up along with that playing it safe that's about um, really taking the initiative to move into something that's very different there's some kind of transformative energy here that's encouraging you to move past your boundaries and with that travel card I mean that could literally um, be you having the ability to travel somewhere that is going to support some kind of transformation for yourself some kind of change that could actually also speak to moving house as well there could be some kind of move in location and so yeah so that's also with the commitment that speaks to this again and um, if you are entering into some kind of le legal situation make sure that everything's in place and you have that checked over there's nothing that's um, changeable in, in the sense of the water element not being steady now given that um, the earth element stability and this playing its safe card is there this transformative energy um, that is presenting itself within you I believe yeah within and around you it's um, this is the outcome position and you've got here this provoker and the vast universe so it could be that these changes that are happening are really throwing you for a bit of a loop there's some tension there's some um, uncertainty there with these two cards working together So there might be some kind of move that um, is required of you, but you're not really certain about, about committing to that. 
And that's causing all sorts of um, internal tension and friction for yourself. But although that is the case, this spirit card here showing up, the vast universe alongside it, it's really asking you to take hold of the bigger picture, view it from a larger perspective, one of expansion, one of potential, one of growth, because this is really saying that there are opportunities ahead of you that are waiting for you to find them. And that's going to be, um, that's only going to happen if you actually, well, these two seem to want to come out, so okay. That's only going to happen if uh, you are willing if you are willing to step out of that comfort zone. Queen of Wands there too. So the Knight of Pentacles, I get the sense that that might be you. Your energy actually. Now, um, as I'm starting this, because I had to, to deal with those, the sunlight coming in, I certainly hope that I identify this reading as Scorpio. Did I do that? Well, if I haven't done that, I'm so sorry. So this is reading for Scorpio, sun, moon and rising. I'm certain I did that, surely. Okay, so with that out of the way, yeah, this seems to be the energy um this seems to be you you've got this sense of you really would rather um have things just go along at a steady pace one that you can control and whatever's happening at the moment it's um you potentially you can see that it's actually going to ask you to to step it up and um go beyond what you're used to and so so you're a little bit hesitant about that, but this is about you growing. This is about you um, mastering something, getting better at something, honing your skill sets, crafting your future. So this isn't really something, doesn't look like this is something that you should ignore. This is going to be very beneficial for where, you know, for you creating creating something for yourself, moving forward. And with the Queen of Wands there, there could be um, a Queen of Wands person, somebody with initiative, somebody with like strong drive about them, somebody established who may actually assist you or be some kind of a, an initiator in this change. Mm. and their input or their influence is is seeing you through these changes or um, is presenting you with potentially an opportunity to change and this opportunity is going to be very transformative for you it's going to open things up um, open things up for you in such a way that you just never imagined and will uh, create many more opportunities for you moving forward. Wow, that's really great. Love that. And with the angel cards, let's see what supportive advice the angels can offer. Releasing. Okay, well, that speaks to the playing it safe and the stability there, being able to release those potential fears surrounding change, this transformation, and release the need to always have that, that safety net here with playing it safe. Yeah, they, that's really asking you to, you know, break through some of those 
self-limiting, potentially self-limiting beliefs or habits, yeah, mindsets and um, patterns that, you know, currently it seems like you're being, you're being presented with something that's going to really benefit you. And so this is, the angels are really supporting you in releasing anything that may um, hold you back and keep you stuck in what you're used to and those old habits of, of being. And so time for change is ahead, Scorpio. So blessings to you. All right. So um, that is the insight that I have for you. I certainly hope that that does assist you as you move forward. And if that does, like and subscribe should you feel inclined. And until we connect again in another reading, take care. Hello and welcome. This is Oracle Insight and we are doing the readings for water elementals. And this one in particular is for Pisces. So Pisces, Sun, Moon and Rising. Now um, this reading is for the week beginning the 29th of November through to the uh, 5th of December. So I'm just going to whoops, lay these cards that seem to want to come out. So, okay, there we go. That's there. And then we shall get into the reading. It's been very interesting with these readings because the energies are certainly showing up in similar fashion with uh, a lot of the readings. So that is interesting. There's obviously some common threads happening, which is um, to be expected. I think it's just a sign of the times, isn't it? Okay, so this is really pointing Pisces to um, current energies and you know, lunar eclipse and change. Um, I was starting on that reading and then the phone went, but let me try again. So right now there are some um, major energies of change happening with the lunar eclipse. That's really speaking to major shifts that need to happen. With this behind a mask card alongside of this, this is really speaking, um, this card here is speaking to you having some kind of facade, some kind of like this mask. It's the inability or you have not allowed yourself to show up in your true essence, in your true way, you've held yourself back in some way, that's really created a, like some, like fighting or um, friction of energies. It's like you, you're wanting to show up. You have that intention of wanting to participate, but there's a fear surrounding it that's caused you to hold back in a lot of ways that has therefore and then has continually kind of those masks have been laid upon um, one another to the point that you are really truly eclipsed in a sense that essence of yourself is um, is not showing you've not allowed it to show and so this really speaks to that that sense of hiding, um, of shying away, that being uprooted and the mask coming off. Oh, wow, that's major, isn't it? Yeah, and with the, um, this is in a position, this card's in a position of what not to do. So interesting because we want this transformation we want this you breaking out of that box here but this is really suggesting that if there is um, 
because of this uh, behind the mask and this pent up energy, um, there might be a potential for a release that's going to be quite explosive and we don't want that. So this is talking to you not showing that unique you in a way that's going to be detrimental, all right? That um, whatever this is, this is not the time and place Hopefully this will resonate with you because I, I, I'm not sure about, um, this is talking to an event. So um, if there is an event um, coming up or was supposed to happen, there might be an opportunity to connect or celebrate with people in a different way. And this is really pointing to you not breaking out of your shell, not taking off the mask in a way that's going to be explosive and destructive. All right, this is about you just reining it in. Hmm, okay, well, that's an interesting message. And with, um, because you've got, you've got bigger things to, to uh, focus on. With the eighth house showing there in, with endings and beginnings, that's in the position of, um, an encouragement of what you should do. So this is about releasing um, things. There are endings and beginnings. Now, we certainly want that um, removal of the masks. I think it's time for the real you to come through. And this is really pointing to that being necessary because you have the potential to create to be creative, there is something here that um, there's a blocked energy and it's just because you've, um, you've tied yourself up in knots with regards to how you present yourself and because of that, it's really, it's blocking up, uh, it's blocking off that, that energy flow of yours and wow, so this is really, really encouraging you to um, recognize that certain things need to come to an end and that it's going to better serve you to uh, allow that to happen and to move on. And, you know, this could also point to some kind of uh, potential illness, whether it's in yourself or someone else. And with the eighth house there showing up and this blockage, there could be some kind of potential um physical kind of manifestation of those blocked energies if you do not allow that to to move you know to allow that energy to flow through properly and have that release yeah I think um, I'm getting a sense that's more to do with you actually rather than than uh, someone a family member but then again um, it could resonate for some and with the Gemini, I think, and letting go. See, this is, you've got like polarities happening here with the Gemini. It's like, there are thought patterns that like pulling against each other or working against each other need to actually harmonize that and move forward in union. See, this is really speaking to you releasing those energies that are holding you back and like these doors allowing these doors to to open and allow that light to to come through and show you the way and so that's that's really pointing to um, allowing or taking control in order to and to in order to move past these blockages that that are happening here and you can do this the Gemini with the I think there there is a, there is a very strong potential there for you to be able to break through those patterns and actually um, harmonize those parts of yourself that I think you might potentially be showing in different facets of your life but this is about you amalgamating all of that so you can be one unit moving forward that will be that unique that unique you, that genius, but move forward in a, a positive manner. Mm. Okay, let's see um, what the tarot might show us. There's also something here about um, strengthening your ability to communicate, okay, because this is the outcome that um, we're wanting here. 
Yeah, see, look, you're carrying this burden here and Ten of Wands. Do you have Ten Masks going on here, Pisces? Like there's there's so many different facets of you that are um, that are weighing you down because it's just, it's not who you are truly. So, goodness. Now with the King of Cups here and the King of Wands, now that's an interesting combination. You've got two authority figures here flanking you in the middle. So um, that really could, and interesting enough, interestingly enough, look at that. You've got Gemini 2 on the side here. Hmm. In one sense, that um, could literally be opposing parts of yourself, um, these facets of yourself, coming in conflict with each other. They're like, like the water and then the fire. It's like, how do you, how do you harmonize these two energies together in, in order to, like I say, um, become one to move forward? So in that sense, in one sense, there's, there's that showing up. But in another way, this could, these could actually be influences in your life that have potentially led you to that feeling, that sense of, um, of needing to, to hide yourself, maybe. I'm just looking at that Ten of Wands, how they're so burdened, they can barely see properly. But I, um, I would have to say, though, that even though if you have been influenced in some way as you've gone through your life by conflicting messages or energies and you're not quite sure which way to go. I'm drawn to the fact that this Ten of Wands is actually looking towards the King of Cups. So there seems to be a message here that in some way you will have to, uh, there's this sense of actually connecting with your emotional reservoir and finding emotional maturity there's something i mean it sounds quite obvious when i say it like that but that really strikes me as interesting that ten of wands is looking towards the king of cups and so is the king of wands so it's like the king of cups is the one with the king of cups is the one with the key in order to move forward here I mean, if that does speak to uh, an actual physical person, then okay, you would uh, know about that. But otherwise, that really is talking to you, trusting in your emotional growth and that depth that you have within you, Pisces. That's going to hold you in good stead if you allow yourself to tap into it in such a way that it is going to be a positive outlet for growth. Because look, with the creative endeavor there with um, the blockage, there is certainly potential for something, something more to come of that. So we're going to just, I just want to see what else we can get on this. This is so interesting. Okay. Oh, look, you've got peace. So yeah, there is this sense of wanting to blend, to harmonize opposing factions within yourself. You're wanting that. You're certainly wanting that with that intention piece there. That's, gosh, look, see, two to three. Yeah. And it does look like there is harmony to be gained. Okay, let's see what this angel card is going to tell us. Positive intention. Oh my goodness, there's positive intention again. Okay, so... As is with most of um, situations and cases, this is this here is really talking to the framework of your thoughts and the intention behind the thoughts that you hold, that you nurture into blooming. Like, look how abundant this is. It's really about what you're thinking, the intentions, that's where it all starts. You do have a lot of the I think, the, the qualities here, the, a lot of the, the intention cards showing up as well. So this is, this is really about energies that are going to 
potentially shift once you set that intention in place that's leading you towards this peace and this harmony of these different facets of you coming together and you having command over that. Yeah, because look at that, you've got the Ten of Wands and the King of Wands. So the King of Wands definitely, you know, that's that is the energies of having grown from gone through all these previous wands cards to become the king of wands sitting on his throne and owning it you know but the intention there is important and just developing that sense of ease and that sense of peace and grace all right and that's going to really benefit you as you move forward goodness me there are some certainly some big shifts happening right now and as i say it's um certainly a reflection of the current times that we are living within so with that being said Pisces I certainly wish you all the best as you move through these circumstances and changes and until I connect with you again take care <music>